today we're going to be doing some calligraphy. Um, I would like to do not only some calligraphy, but also some design. So this is actually a hymn. Um, so these are musical notes um, that I'm going to also do in calligraphy. So this also is nice because it's all lined out for me. All right. So usually in calligraphy, uh, you want to make sure that you're doing all your lines straight. That's why the second most important tool after the pen is a ruler, okay, or a straight edge. Absolutely essential for doing calligraphy, okay? If you're just doing calligraphy, uh, trying your hardest to do really beautiful letters, but then your letters are just kind of like going all over the place, it doesn't look very neat, all right? So this is going to bring your calligraphy to a new level. Um, so even if I was not doing the lines for the musical notations, I want to make sure that I have a straight line to write my words on. All right. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to actually do these musical lines in red. And then I'm going to show you some different ways of doing calligraphy for the words. To start out, even though I have these straight lines, if I go in and I just do freehand here, and I try my best to get it nice and straight, it's still a little wavy, all right? It's not that great. So what I want to do is line up my ruler and draw straight across. Okay, that line is way straighter than this line. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll turn that off. Yeah, so now it's a little bit easier to see. This line is very nice and straight. This line is pretty straight, but still wobbly. Okay, so again, I can continue getting all my lines and then I also, um, looking for my pencil, sorry. I'm also going to, with a pencil so that I can erase it, I want to make a line for my words. So I'm going to draw that lightly. Okay, I drew it a little bit darker so that you can see it, but you want to draw that really, really light. Because after you're done doing your calligraphy, okay, so maybe I'll just do a little. That's not working. Right. If I try to do that, even myself, who have a lot of practice, okay, I can't get that all the way straight. Okay, I know myself, it's going to be a little bit haphazard, and it's hard to keep the same size. So that's really important too. I'm keeping my same size letters, whereas if I don't have the lines, maybe one P is going to get bigger, or maybe eventually, by the time I get to the end. My Y is way bigger than my H, all right? I want to show you really quickly as well the difference between the big size and the smaller size, all right? So now I have the smaller size. And if I try to do the same, okay, that looks way more, uh, way different than, than this H here. Okay, so all those different things 
are important to keep in mind. I just wanted to show you all um, a few of the different kinds of calligraphy. So there's all different kinds of lettering that you can do. Um, so unicles um, are some of my favorites, especially like the lowercase. Um, we can do gothic. Let's see if they have, yep. Um, so italics, uh, Roman sans serif. Okay, so there's all different kinds of, um, so serifs, just a little extra. So serifs are the little um, things at the ends of the letters. So there's serif, and then there's sans serif. Okay, so there's no, um, well, there are tiny little edges, but for the most part, there are no big edges like these ones, okay? Uh, so there are different kinds of alphabets, all of which use different kinds of strokes. So I want to go to this part here, to zoom in a little bit. All right, so you can see that this letter is made up of three strokes. So going down this way, remember, we're always going down, two, three, okay? The B is made up of three strokes as well. So you're going down the little edge there, going across and across, okay? So remember, these are using our practice strokes. So we have this one here going down, and then two of these shapes, okay? So again, using these different strokes, we're creating these different letters. Now it helps to have a, an alphabet um, to be able to look at in order to do your calligraphy, all right? So um, I will have these books that you can look at. Um, so again, one, two, one, two, three, all right? So I don't expect you to just have these um, infused into your mind here, because sometimes they also get a little complicated. So here is the B with the Gothic. So one, two, three, four. So each number is a time that you lift up your pen. Now I have my paper ready. But before I do that on my final one, I want to make sure I kind of practice a little bit so I know about how far away my letters need to be, um, what kind of spacing I'm going to have, all those kind of things. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of practice. Now I have my words here. Uh, and notice as well that, so this is Veni Creator Spiritus. This V, okay, uh, I'm going to save for last. I'm going to do uh, another video showing you how to do a more decorative, illuminated V, all right? So I need to start with any, okay? So the any, creator spiritus. So I want to maybe experiment a little bit with bigger lines, smaller lines, uh, and see what one is going to work for me, okay? Um, somehow I've lost my black pen again. Here we go. Nope, this is purple. Where did I put that? Well, I suppose we can experiment with a different color for now. So I want my final one to be black. So, but for now, we'll start with this. Okay. So just like in my reference here, I'm going to start with the E. Now there are also different ways of doing calligraphy. Um, 
There are different styles. I have a whole book that you can look through to see the different kinds of styles. But for example, um, I could do an E like this. I can do an E like that. Okay, same thing with an N. I could do an N like this. Or I can do an N like that. I can do an N. Oops, that's actually a Russian letter. Um, I can add little details. All right, so there's all different kinds of ways that I can do that. Same thing with my smaller pen, right? So I can do those same letters. And notice as well on our practice strokes, okay, we have this E or this shape, I'm sorry, okay? And with two strokes now, I've created an E. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So I'm gonna do that again. It's even good to practice letters over and over again. So I would always have a practice sheet nearby before you get fine, uh, started on your final calligraphy just to practice over and over again, getting that muscle memory. So again, I can also do an E like that. Um, let's do an N. All right. So I think I would like my lettering to be more this size. I think this is way too big. It's gonna take up way too much space. Um, it's closer to the sizes of my letter, so I can even see, okay. They're still a little bit bigger than what this is, um, but that's fine, because I, I don't need it to be that small. Um, so I think this is a good a good size. So I'm gonna do that. I might even practice a few um, lines of it. Actually, maybe I'll practice up here. I'm gonna turn off this light. There we go, it's a little bit easier to see. And maybe I don't quite like this R, so maybe I'll try this R instead. I think I like that better. And I don't think I like this N. I think I like this N instead.
Okay. And see, I didn't have my pencil line, so I actually started going up and my letters started getting bigger. So that's why it's really important to have that line. Um, you can even do another line. If you had a line going this way and a line this, so that you can have all your letters spaced in between that.